We talked about some of those neighborhoods where it can be worse. Uh, Kelly Colvieja yesterday was in one of them where it was especially bad, Kelly. This is the downtown area, uh, Jeff. This is the old commercial center of this city, but now there really is nothing left like so many other parts of the city. Uh, the buildings are completely destroyed. The people are extremely desperate, and there's a growing sense of lawlessness, lawlessness there. In much of this ruined city, the cries of grief are constant as more dead are pulled from the rubble. Bodies of mothers and fathers and children line the sidewalks. Ain't nobody trying to help nobody do nothing. People dead on the street, kids that's innocent, we don't know nothing. Volunteers are digging graves on a hillside, trying to give the dead some dignity and the living a better chance at fighting off disease. There is no food, no running water. In the city's commercial center, crowds are scavenging as much as they can carry from crumpled stores. They've seen no sign of help, so they're fending for themselves. Gangs with machetes rule the streets in this neighborhood. And the competition for supplies is getting fierce. And here's another problem in this area, and we've seen it just as working journalists. There is barely any communication here. When we were out on the street yesterday, people kept asking us, what are you hearing? We're not hearing anything. They don't hear anything from radio. They don't have phones or the phones aren't working. So this sense of not knowing what's coming next is also playing into this chaos. Which makes it easier for rumors to spread, in some cases bad rumors, which then increases the anxiety and sometimes the violence. Another thing worth noting here from Haiti and Port-au-Prince especially is the dust. I mean, so many buildings have come, come down, and then they're trying to clean these buildings out and knock down whatever buildings might be left so they're not a danger. But this just acrid dust and smoke fills the air almost constantly. All right. Jeff Glor, uh, Kelly Cobiea, thank you so much for your report this morning. Do take care. We'll talk to you more in a little bit.